Hello everyone, we will continue the topic internal table operations and we are covering the collect statement. Now I will extend this topic and we will cover again so many important points because in the collect statement specially, so many mistakes are coming. So it's a time to clear all those mistakes. Now we covered collect is used to make some of amount values based upon unique character values. Firstly, I will make that definition more precise. Then I will come on to the common mistakes, especially from the beginners, and we will go for the solution for the same. Collect is used to make some of numeric field values based upon unique character field values. Collect is used to make some of numeric field values based upon unique character values. I already covered which data types are considered as character data types, which data types are considered as numeric data types. C, N, D and T are considered as your character data type, means character, numeric, date and time are your character data type. Integer, pad decimal and floating point are considered as numeric data type. It means collect will make some of the fields which is having these three data type based upon these four data types. Now, what the people are doing the mistake, the first biggest mistake, they will take the amount, suppose, they what they will do, they will take the amount of type N. And they will simply take the length, suppose, suppose I am taking the length 10. They will take the amount of type N. Now just think by yourself, will it give the result? Will it make some of amount based upon these particular two fields? It will never, never make some because N is not your numeric data type. N is your character data type. So C is character data type. C, character data type. N, character data type. So some will never, never happen in this particular case. So people will simply think they will took the amount of type N. So it will make some of numeric based upon unique character. N is never, never a numeric data type. N is always considered as a character data type. Now I will show you in that debugging also, you will understand more, more better. See, amount, amount means what? It has the decimal places. Suppose I am saying I have 100 rupees 50 paisa. So it has decimal places. Suppose I'm saying quantity. Suppose I'm saying I bought 1 kg 500 gram. So amount, quantity, these always, always has the decimal places. Yes, suppose I'm saying my weight is suppose 60 kg, 60.40. So we have always, always the decimal places. So now suppose I took the amount of type N. N means what? It will only accept the numbers 0 to 9, 0 to 9. And just see, you are passing the amount 10,000 dot 0, 0. Numbers means what? Num, num, and N means what? It will only accept 0 to 9. Will it accept a dot? It will not accept. Suppose, if I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. 
Suppose I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Yes, at this point of time, you might not have the knowledge of debug, but you can learn from a separate playlist. Suppose I will double click. This is the work area. This is the internal table. Zero records. I'm doing F6. I'm on 22nd number line. I'm doing F6. I'm on 23rd number line. Now this line executed. If I will show you the work area, I gave the amount 10,000.00. Have you seen dot is not here at all? Because N means it will only, only accept the numbers 0 to 9. But amount is always, always in decimal places. Quantity, yes, we are always, always going for these kinds of things, which always has the decimal places. Suppose if I will simply execute. Now you can see there is nothing. There is no dot in the output at all. Now people, the second thing which they are asking, okay. I do not have this particular data element. Suppose now I will remove this. They are saying I do not have this data element because I have not created no problem. This data element has a domain, domain of the CURR type 7, 2. That's the length is 7, decimal places are 2. They are saying they do not have this. In that case, how, how they can do the practical. See, I already told you which data types are considered as numeric data type. Integer, pack decimal and floating point. So if you want to learn and you do not want to have, and you do not have the data element which has a domain of CURR available, no problem. Just you can do one thing. In that case, declare amount. I will simply write type P. P stands for tag decimal. Now you can specify the decimal places because whenever you are taking tag decimal, decimal places you need to specify. Now I will simply activate and show you same to same result is there. So just think these are your character field values. This is your numeric field value. So it will make some of this based upon this. Now, if I will show you in the debugging mode, I will run. I will go to desktop 3. Now, I will simply do F6, F6, F6. Now you can see in the work area, we'll get the exact result. There's no harm at all. Dot is there because we took the type as P, pad decimal. Now, if I will show you the result, we got the exact result. So I covered all the two points. Never, never take the amount of type and this is the most, most and biggest mistake, especially from so many people. Because N is never, never a numeric data type. N is always, always considered as a character data type. Now, second part, if people are saying, no, I do not have this domain or data element available. So can I not do the practical? No problem. You can simply take the type P. P stands for tag decimal, specify the decimal places and you can do the practical for the same. And one important thing, people are saying, okay, anyways, in the previous definition, I told it used to make some of amount value. See, now, if you have quantity also, you can make some, yes, because now, but the definition, but the precise definition I told now, it is used to make some of numeric field values based upon unique character field values. So if you have any, any field having integer, pack decimal, floating point, it will make some of those field values based upon C and 
T and T. So never, never take the amount of type N. And that's why I prepared an extra video for the collect statement because so many people are taking that amount of type N. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I make the definition more precise so that the errors or confusions will be less. You can make some of numeric field values based upon unique character field values. So picture should be clear in your mind. C, N, D and T are considered as character data type. So it means it will take those fields into consideration which has these four data types. After that, it will make some of those field values which are of numeric data types. Now, never take the amount of type N because people have a perception that it will make some of numeric field values based upon unique character values. So they will take the amount of type N. They will take the quantity of type N. N is never, never a numeric data type. After that, so many people told they do not have this data element available which has a domain of this. No problem. You can take the pack decimal data type because that decimal is considered as a numeric data type. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.